Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Monday, September 9th. Hope you guys had a wonderful uh, weekend here. We got no economic news releases today. Today is actually kind of a quiet day, but we do got towards later in the week uh, kind of some heavy packed items like the retail sales are kind of the bigger numbers we're going to be looking at. So we're going to jump over to the headline news here, and the stock market is currently up. And then uh, a lot of it has to do with uh, China exports were c came in over the weekend and were greater than what the forecasts were. And then, of course, some of the stock items like uh, Apple is the big one uh, that they have their some announcements coming up this week with uh, introductions of some new products. So uh, Apple makes obviously a big splash in the equities markets. A couple of uh, things uh, of note probably this month we want to kind of pay attention to uh, that will probably create some volatility in this market is Obviously, we got the situation going on in Syria. We got uh, replacement for Ben Bernanke uh, should be coming up. We'll have uh, probably at some point what now that Congress is reconvened. They're going to probably be talking at some point the debt ceiling, uh, the debt ceiling, uh, which we're about expected to reach by November. And uh, so the, some of those, and then of course the uh, the uh, one of the bigger ones that's been uh, hovering over us for the last few months is the. Uh, the Fed possibly uh, having their tapering uh, possibly uh, this month. So they meet in about two next week, and uh, that will be important uh, news to keep a hold of. So uh, obviously next week will be extremely volatile as people are kind of wondering if uh, they're going to start their tapering off now or they're going to wait later on with all these other data coming out and a lot of mixed stuff. Now, as a whole, the global economy seems to be picking up a little bit. Uh, nothing to brag about. It's just barely above uh, uh, an expansion level, but at least it's not an attraction uh, level. So these are things uh, to kind of watch out for this month. So as a result, you may expect that maybe see some of these investors maybe with hold back on the money uh, on either markets, equities, or even the uh, bond market side of things. So uh, be prepared for those. So there could be a lot of money taken out of the market until they can create a little bit more certainty as to where they want to put place their money. So we're going to jump over to the bond market, see what interest rates are doing today. Now, last, you know, we had improvement. So the, we had higher highs uh, and lower lows uh, than lower lows uh, last or the last two days last week. So today uh, we're still, we had a step up and jumped up a little bit. So we have an improvement right now of approximately about uh, 43 basis points from where we left off yesterday. So that's an improvement in the interest rates as a result. So basically when you see these uh, graphs working its way up along here, that means when the bond market's going up and that's the green, uh, that means that essentially the interest rates are coming down. So it has the opposite effect. So when the bond market's going down on the lower here, that means the interest rates are rising. So right now, as you can see, as it's rising and we're getting this little, tr we're starting to see a little bit of a trend here. Uh, I would give it another day or two. We do uh, have this cap here. It's been extremely important, you know, trying to break above this uh, level here. And what, once we get above that, you know, if we can get some type of good sign where we can close up above it, uh, we maybe we might see another rally coming in there. But again, uh, it's hard to tell right now with uh, a lot of uncertainty in the market as to what's going to happen. But as of right now, as of today, uh, we do have a little bit of an improvement in the interest rates. All right, folks, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great week or a great day, and look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow.